Hello, everyone. This is Peng Cheng from East China Normal University. It's my honor to present our work, a queuing theoretical framework for vehicle dispatching in dynamic car handling. First, I will introduce the motivation of this work. Nowadays, car handling services become very popular. Many car handling apps can help people to order trips conveniently. For the drivers in these platforms, they can only make revenue when they are serving some riders. Then the platform will benefit a part of revenue from drivers. Thus, platform and drivers both want to make more revenue. Riders and drivers in car handling platforms are highly dynamic. Riders come to platform at different time steps and their pickup and destination location are different. On the other hand, Drivers dynamically move around to serve riders. A big problem in car handling platform is the mismatching of riders and drivers, which means their spatial temporal distributions are different from each other. Then some regions may have more riders, while other regions may have more drivers at the same time. Let's have a look at the normal working habit of drivers. Usually, after delivering the current rider to the destination, the driver will continue to find the other riders to serve around the, the destination. Thus, selecting different riders to serve will lead to the distribution of drivers change differently. Recently, many accurate spatial temporal prediction models have been proposed, such as DPAT. The question is how to use them to benefit car hand platforms. The motivation of this work is to smartly assign drivers to riders such that the demand and supply can be balanced. And then the overall revenue of drivers is maximized for a relatively long time period. Then we formally define the problem and analyze it. We first define the impatient riders. Each rider RI submits his order to the platform at time stamp TI. The pickup location is SI. The destination location is EI. Each order has the pickup deadline tau I. For each driver DG, his location at time stamp T is LGT. His status can be busy or available. Then we define value rider and driver pair. It means that driver DG is available when pick up RI and the DG can arrive at location SI before daylight tall I. In our work, we study the maximum revenue vehicle dispatching from a problem. In MRVD, we have a set of impatient riders dynamically come to the platform and a set of drivers move around. We need to select a set of valid rider and driver pairs such that the total revenue is maximized in a given time period. We prove that MRVD is NP hard through a reduction from daylight travel salesman problem. We transform the objective function of MRVD to get two practical rules to help us achieve the op optimization goal. Rule one is that long trips are more important for, for platforms. Rule two is that platforms should minimize the idle time between any two consecutive orders for each driver. We illustrate that the two rules here. Let's use the, the red block to indicate busy time and the green block to indicate idle time. A red block following a green block is called a service run. Then the working time of each driver is consistent of many service runs. Rule 1 tells us that longer trip is better. When the add time after each trip does not change, longer trips will help the drivers to make more revenue in the whole working time. Rule 2 means that shorter add time is better. To make more revenue, a 
driver need to quickly find the next order to short the end time. Next, we show an overview of our queuing theoretical framework here. In the offline processes, we use spatial temporal prediction model to predict the number of orders in each region. In the online processes, we use the queuing theoretical model to estimate the idle time of drivers and apply the two rules in a batch-based mode to maximize the overall revenue. Specifically, we propose a double-sided queuing theoretical model to analyze the idle time of drivers for each region. We don't show the details of the queuing model here. In the, this talk, we only need to know that the queuing model can accurately estimate the idle time based on the predicted number of orders and the number of drivers in each region. With the accurately estimated idle times, we propose an idle ratio gradient approach to solve MRVD. Idle ratio is defined as this. Here, cost is the travel cost of RI. ET is the estimate idle time in the destination region of RI. Then, given higher priorities to smaller idle ratio trips can satisfy the two rules at the same time. Then we gradually select the valid rider and the driver pair with the minimum idle ratio value in the idle ratio gradient approach. However, the idle ratio gradient approach has a shortcoming. The idle ratio of early selected pairs may be affected by later selected pairs when their destination region are same in a batch. batch. Thus, we propose a local search approach to refine the results achieved by idle ratio gradient approach. We prove, prove that the local search approach can converge. In the experiments, we use the taxi trip design in New York City area. The New York City area is divided into 16 times 16 grid, grids for each trip record. We use its timestamp pickup and drop off location to initialize an order. The hot map of the records is showing in this finger. In the synthetic data set, we generate the values of falling parameters. In the experiments, we keep the parameters in their default values and change one parameter to show the effect of that parameter. The test values are showing in this table, and the default values are in bound to font. We test our IRG and LS approaches and compare them with full baseline algorithm. LTG and NEAR are two greedy based approaches. RAND will randomly assign orders to their available drivers. QLAR is a state-of-the-art prediction-based method. We tested four different prediction methods, including historical average, linear regression, GBRT, and G DPST. We found that DPST is more accurate than GBRT, than IR, than HA. In experiments, the estimated idle time through our queuing theoretical model is very close to the real idle time, as shown in this finger. We can see the difference between two fingers is very tiny. In addition, we found that the more accurate prediction model can help the prediction-based approach approaches to achieve higher revenue. RLS and IRG approaches can achieve higher revenues than PLAR. We present a set of experiments results here. Our queuing theoretical approaches can achieve more revenues than baseline algorithms. QLAR is better than other baseline algorithms with respect to the total revenue. In addition, all the tested algorithms are very efficient and can finish a three-second batch within two seconds. That's all, thank you.